Hello Rust developers and welcome to the Rust questions and answers video series. If you want to learn anything about Rust, this is your channel. Rust navigation, Rust with drones, Rust for autonomous cars, everything about Rust is here. Learn, learn Rust step by step and push your Rust learning in just 10 minutes of video. I am Alberto and today I am going to be talking about the joint trajectory controller and how to add a joint trajectory controller to your manipulator robot, to your simulation. So, how to do that? But before anything else, remember to visit our Robot Ignite Academy, our online academy where you will find practical online ROS courses using simulated robots, no installation required. You will find that into the academy on the video description. And now, yeah, let's start with the video. So, let's close everything and let's go to RDS. And here I have prepared a ROS jet, which I'm going to open right now. So let's wait a few seconds until the environment fully loads. There we have it. Excellent. So now, so the first thing I'm going to do here is to open an IDE uh, to check my files I have here in my project. And as you can see, basically what I have here are the open manipulator packages for the open manipulator simulation. You can find them. Um, here, typing open manipulator, and you have links to the ROS wiki and to the repository of Robotis to load the simulation. And yeah, what I'm going to do now is to start the simulation. So let's open here the open manipulator gazebo package, and the launch file is this one open manipulator gazebo.launch. So let's start this launch file. And yeah, meanwhile, it's loading. Let me open a shell because I will be sending uh, commands to the simulation. There we are. And this should be loaded in a few seconds. Yeah, here we have it. So here we have the open manipulator arm. And now let's check the topics. We can see here that we have uh, this uh, command topics for joint one position, joint two position, three position, four position, for the gripper and also the joint states. So this allows us to send commands for individual joints. Like for instance, let's send a command to the joint two position uh, controller and let's move it like this for instance. And you will see how this makes our robot in the simulation move. As you can see, this joint has moved. So let's uh, let me take it back to its initial position. Okay, there we are. So basically, what we are doing here, let me open here. We have the open manipulator package, and the launch file we have used is the open manipulator gazebo. Let's change this to XML. We will see it better. So we are loading the empty world, as you can see here. Then we are loading the URDF, which is this one, Open Manipulator URDF Chakra, that defines our robot. And then here at the end, we are spawning the robot, yeah, using the URDF spawner. And finally, here we are loading the controllers, which are here in Open Manipulator Controller, which is this launch file here, Open Manipulator Controller. Then here, what we are loading is basically this YARN file, open manipulator controller.yarn, that we have in the config folder, as you can see. So let's open this file to check it now. And uh, then we are uh, loading, using the controller manager, all our, our controllers, which are this one, joint state controller, joint one position, two position, three position, four position, gripper position, and gripper sub position. And these controllers are defined here. As you can see, we have here the joint state controller, which is a joint uh, of the type joint state controller. Uh, and then we have this, uh, as you may already know, this is loading this topic here, which basically tells us the state of, of our joints. Yeah. Let's check a message here.
Yeah, so here we see all our joints, the position, velocity, effort, etc. Yeah? So this will tell us information about our, uh, our joints. And then we are loading all the position controllers. As you can see here, joint 1 position, joint 2 position, 3 position, the grippers, all the ones that are stated here. Yeah? And for them we are loading position controllers, as you can see. Yes, and for each one of them we have an associated joint, which is defined in the URDF file. Okay, but well, we are not going to enter into all of these. So yeah, as you can see, we, with this configuration file we are loading our position controllers that create all these topics that you have seen here and uh, this allows us to control our robot by publishing into the command topic of each controller, yeah? Like this. I can move this joint, or I can control other joints. For instance, I can move the... Instead of the two, I'm going to move the... Okay, stop it, poof. To the joint 3 position command and here I will move it as well there you have it how it goes down so yeah but now instead of using position controllers here what I want is to use the joint trajectory action yeah which you can check here as well uh, for the documentation but basically this uh, provides an action server in order to control our joints yes instead of individual topics where you publish here we are going to use a, an action server which is better for instance to for compatibility with movie etc yeah and as you will see now it's very very simple to do this conversion so basically what I'm going to do now let me... I'm going to go here to this um, to this uh, launch file, the one that is in the controllers, and I will have to modify here, but how will I modify this? Okay, first of all, as you can see, I have here a file prepared, which is the trajectory controller YAL, yeah? So here we are defining all our controllers, which are going to use this joint position controller, yeah? and our joint state controller. This one will remain the same. So let's open this file now. As you can see, the joint state controller remains exactly the same in the two files, but now I'm going to add here my ARM controller, so not uh, individual controllers for each uh, joint, but one controller for the ARM and another controller for the gripper. Yes, then of course I'm going to use this joint trajectory controller and inside I will need to specify the joints that will compose this controller. So in this case, this is going to be uh, for controlling the arm, not the gripper. So I'm going to use the joint 1, joint 2, joint 3, joint 4, yes, which are these joints here that are the ones that compose the, the arm. Then for the gripper, we have the grip joint and the grip joint tube. So you will see here, for the, grip and, for the gripper controller, we have the grip joint and the grip joint tube. And as well here, I'm loading a joint trajectory controller. Yes? Then here you will need to define some parameters, uh, like goal time, this trajectory and goal parameters. You can check all this here. You have all the information about what does each one of these parameters mean? Here you have it. You have them, the parameters. So, yeah, here we have, for instance, the constraints goal, which is... which are these, uh, this parameter here, the 0 0.1. In this case, for instance, this one means position tolerance for a particular joint to reach the goal. So the tolerance that we will accept a goal as reach it or not, etc. And I'm not going to explain all of them because... Uh, the video would uh, be too long. 
but you can come here and check what means each parameter. Here we, I have it more or less configured for 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 the open manipulator, yeah. And yeah, once you have created this file, this configuration file, loading your joint trajectory controller, and having defined it the parameters that uh, that you want that you are interested in in configuring, then we need to load these parameter files in our launch file, which is this one. So instead of loading the open manipulator controller, I'm going to load the trajectory controller YAML file, yes, which is this one here. And also I will have to modify this here because I'm not, load, I'm not loading anymore all these uh, controllers. Now, instead, I am loading the joint state controller, which is the same, the arm controller, and also the gripper controller. Yes, so we have the joint state controller, the arm controller, and the gripper controller. The joint state controller, the arm controller here, and the gripper controller. And now, of course, I will need to uh, load this launch file in my main launch, which is this one. So I'm going to change. Ah, no, it's, it's the same. I, I'm using the same launch file, so OK. So this uh, general launch file will start my Open Manipulator Controller launch file, which is this one. And then this file will load my trajectory controller configuration file and these new controllers. So let's test if all this works. Let's launch again our simulation. Here we have it. And I will need my shell to check this. OK. So as you can see here, it's loading the ARM controller, the gripper controller, the joint tested controller. This looks fine. Here we have our simulation. So now, if I do a ROS topic list, let's check this. Yeah, so now, as you can see, we are loading the ARM controller, which are all, all these topics here. And as you can see, this is an action. We have the cancel feedback goal result topics. And we have the controller for the gripper here as another action server. And finally, we have as well the joint states, which is exactly the same as in the, with the position controllers. Yeah. So now, uh, for instance, we can use RQT. Let me open here a graphical tools window. So that I can check RQT. OK, there we have it. And now I can come here to the plugins. And in the robot tools, I have this joint trajectory controller tool, which is very cool and very convenient. And here I can select the controller I want, for instance, the ARM controller. I enable it by clicking on here. And now, since I'm using a joint trajectory controller in my robot, I can control my robot using this tool, which is uh, very nice. For instance, I can move here my arm the join to, and this will be applied, as you can see, this is applied to the simulation, yeah? Let's move uh, as well this one. There we have it. So all the movements you do here, let's, let me, let me open it here, because it will be, we will be able to see it better. OK, now it's a little bit small, but I think I'll be able to manage. OK, so now, as you can see, I can control here, through these sliders, the joints of my, of my robot. And this is applied to the simulation. Yes? And I can use this because I am loading, I am using now a joint trajectory controller. Yeah? 
Also, this is uh, much better if you want to use movie packages, etc. So, yeah, as you can see, it's very simple. And yeah, that's all for this video. I hope you liked it. If so, please give us a like, give us a thumbs up, and remember to subscribe to our channel. We're publishing videos every day, very interesting videos. And yeah, either you like it or not, please remember to share your thoughts, your comments, any questions in the comments area. And yes, see you in the next video. Goodbye.